Welcome Arisen. Getting all three Maester skills for Mage and Sorcerer in one go can be quite tricky. Because you will have to do two quests that let you gather the same five books to complete. Luckily, there are more than enough ways to get them, if you know where to look. In total there are nine books you can get and you only need six of them to complete both quests. I will first go over the quests and then explain where you can find the books. So feel free to use the timestamps. The first quest is Spellbound. You'll get it by speaking with Trisha in Aini's house after having at least started the In Dragon's Wake quest. Why won't they let me study magic? In order for her to get you the quest, you have to get rid of Gran first. She will only speak with you if she is alone. What is it? If you find any grimoires, would you bring them to me? And of course you'll venture out and gather at least three books to complete the quest. I gave her a forgery once and that would complete the quest but wouldn't give me the master skill, so be aware of that. Give her the real books. Now leave the area and come back a few days later. She will have studied the books and have some kind of episode. It's important that you don't fight her. She must not die. Let her exhaust her magic. You will see that she starts panting and then just grab her. This will finish this part of the quest. Trisha! Trisha! Oh my now again, skip a couple of days, come back and get your reward. Oi! Should see my view to thank for saving me as well as Gran. Learning to shackle such immense power seems a monumental task for a child of her years. I hope she'll fare all right. The second quest will be the Sorcerer's Appraisal. You get it in Rest Town from Murden, who is actually Trisha's father. He will be at his home in Rest Town. But to get in, you have to make sure to wear formal attire. Otherwise, he won't open the door for you. He will send you off to gather the same to five books you already had to search to for his daughter. And of course, you will oblige. Have you found any grimoires? This will suffice. You have proven your determination. If you already learned Meteoron from his daughter, he will be quite upset and can only be calmed by giving him the ring she gave to you. After that, you can get your reward. I cannot even begin to unravel the process behind this formulation. Tell me, taught you this magic? Trisha taught you? That cannot be! Get out of my sight! And do not show yourself before me again! Hold! Why is that ring in your possession? She... gave it to you, you say? And none the worse for wear. Amy has told me of aught that transpired. It would seem you were instigator and savior, both in this affair. And now to the box. The first one is Let There Be Light and it's just upstairs of Murden's home. Just grab it and you would rifle it. through your host's possessions unbidden? How utterly contemptuous! You incompetent fool! The second one is Fulminus Shield and can just be bought from the peddler in Melf. 
nothing caught your eye? Well met. Book three is the Nation's Death Knell. The easiest way to get it is on the way to the swings to the ancient battleground. In this small corridor just on the right side you, you find a room with the book. But I strongly recommend against using this one because taking this will lock you out of the Told to Rest quest. Instead make your way to the Waterfall Cave which will not only give you another copy of Nation's Death Knell, but also at the Howling Blizzard. Oh, at the well very end of the cave you will find a chest with both books. But be aware, opening this chest will spawn a lot of enemies and this can be a really tough fight if you try it early on. In the Nameless Village you can exchange your copy of the Fulminus Shield to a copy of Towering Earth. Of course you don't want to do this, it's just here because I don't want to leave anything out. We have a deal then. You've my thanks. Here's Owling Blizzard, the Veil Tome has promised. Use it well now. For Book 5, The Towering Earth, you will have to free the Magistrate from uh, the jail. This is part of the main quest, so you can't miss it. Just talk to him and he will give you the book. There is another copy of Towering Earth, but this one is a bit complicated. You have to go to Batal and look for a merchant named Elsa. Elsa will only spawn if the merchant Arietta is dead. So maybe you have to kill her, wait a couple of days just for Elsa to appear. Then you can use the thief skill Pilfer or Plunder to steal a copy of Towering Earth. You can also use the Riddle of Conviction to just duplicate a book of your choice. And if you just want to complete the quest without getting the Maester skills, you can make forgeries of all of them. And as always, stay strong and kill a dragon!